Hello guys, in this video lecture we will allow the author to delete the, his or her post. First we will create a view, so just open up the views.pr file from the blog directory itself and just after the post edit view we will uh, we'll create a post delete view, so just here we will define a view here and name it post underscore delete. We will pass the request parameter in order to make this function as a view and the id itself this is the id which will come from the urls.pr file itself and now we will create a post object using get object of 404 in which we will pass the post model and the id equals id for a particular post that we will going to delete if and we will check here if request.user is not equals to post.author author then we'll particularly raise an HTTP 404 check or page so what we are doing is here as uh, we are we have done in post edit view uh, we are checking if only the author of the post will be able to delete the post now we'll check here uh, we'll delete the post actually using post delete for the particular post we are getting through the ID and then we'll just return a redirect to the post list view this is a simple view that uh, has been completed now in order to delete the post now we'll need to create an url for our view so just open up the urls.py file and just under the post edit view we'll create a url and uh, the name regular, regular expressions for deleting that post and we'll pass an id here like we did for post edit view and this needs to be done inside that comma and excuse me we'll write post underscore delete here and end it with dollar sign just after that we'll pass a view that needs to be used which is the post delete view so it is here and the name equals post underscore delete as well and now we will create a delete button in our post detail template so open up the post detail template inside the templates block directory we do have the post detail template and uh, in the inside the div class section one we'll just copy the anchor tag that we have created for edit button just copy and paste it just after that and instead of post underscore edit we'll write delete here for the post delete view uh, to call the post delete view and instead of using class pt and outline success we'll say danger it's danger to delete the post and here we'll write delete button so check uh, we'll check here if it is showing correctly on the site or not so just refresh it and uh, as you can see i am uh, uh, logged in with the user abhishek and uh, the author abhishek is uh, post is the is written by the author abhishek if we click on it and we do have the delete button appearing here and if we click on it and boom the author just deleted his post in just one click but it is a good practice to show a confirmation dialog to the author if he or she still want to delete the post so he might not accidentally click the delete button and his or her work has gone forever so to implement this just give an id equal delete to an anchor tag here you can obviously name anything but i am saying it is a delete button for the post detail view and now go to the base.html in order to implement this delete id or inside the, using the jquery function so we'll write dollar and we'll pass hash delete in order to del uh, use the id for if if the user or the author uh, click on the delete button we'll just write a click function and inside that we'll write function it's not dunction it's function and, and if we delete the click button, we just return a dialog, confirm dialog using con, which is uh, built into the Django, and we'll pass a string or text here to uh, to uh, show are you are you sure to delete this? Excuse me, it's delete this post. So if we go to the browser here and uh, click on post 2 which who is the author of uh, Abhishek which 
and uh, now we have the delete button as well here and if we try to click on that and as you can see here a little pop-up comes up when we click on the delete button and saying are you sure are you sure to delete this post and uh, if we try to uh, it is also giving the two buttons by default as we have didn't mention here and if we try to cancel it out it will not delete the post and again if we click, delete, uh, click on uh, delete button and if we try to hit the ok button it will definitely or surely delete the post just hit it and boom it deletes the post so we are all good here we have uh, seen how to delete the post so please do subscribe my channel guys see you in the next video lecture